Welcome back to the pack, guys. And today we got Arena Week 25, Day 2. And here's our matches. I think I do have a scout, though, so I'm going to try <laughs> try for this. It's a single scout. Nothing uh, nothing to write home about. Well, it's two scouts, maybe. So we got the uh, general pool and, and pull and uh, pool pull, because it is a general pool of... It's a, it's a pull for the general pool. To pull for the general pool. And we also do got... Oh, I skipped. Well, we just max awakened our peacock. Uh, not the best unit ever. Uh, he's still... Uh, the name's not changing, so he's not like Great Again Dragon, where he went from OK Dragon to Great Again Dragon. Uh, but he's... Uh, yeah, he's still... Uh, he still sucks. <laughs> he still sucks pretty bad. Um... A rhombus. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, so we're not getting that. We're not gonna. We're not gonna invest for it. We're not doing shit for it. I mean, I, I could do it for. Um, I think there's a. Uh, was it twenty? I think Blossom Door twenty requires fizz, frizz. Uh, I, I can't remember, but I'm not gonna bother with it. So, um, yeah, uh, we'll we'll just go with the uh, other scout here. My first Max Awakened gotcha unit, technically. It's not a banner exclusive, but it's um it's a gotcha unit still. So uh it's my first Max Awakened one. And it was him. So <laughs> uh okay. Typical typical pack demon fashion here. Just uh just rolling through these. Alright, silver, no upgrade. Okay. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> I, I guess I can't hate it, but I, I'll definitely hate it now. If I ever, 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 ever get another prison peacock again, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> That's the thing. Eventually, all those general pool units will be pulled for and will be maxed. So, I don't know. I'm going to get upset one way or another one of these days, right? That's the um, that's basically what's going to happen regardless. Uh, seems like an easy team. Two Frizz, some others, some others, some stuff here that could be weak against Frizz, two of them at least, maybe three, two of them. Um, not sure why they would bring it for this week, but okay. Maybe that's all they had. Uh, this seems like tougher units, but at the same time, look at those weaknesses. I could so, I would slot, I would slaughter. I would I would hand it to this guy. I would hand him I would hand it. I would hand him a defeat pretty steadily. Zoma's crack won't be doing much. His resistance to frizz is a bit annoying. But what are you gonna do? Elena critting? If Elena landed a crit, that would be a nightmare. Luckily, she's super fast, so I don't think I would move before her other than hybrid, maybe. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's check out my team here. I need to shift around some of these equipped here really quick. Um, I could afford to give you a better armor. There we go. Seems about right might be strange that you're seeing this instead of the um the other uh ice sword but it's um it's more hp and at the end of the day that's all i care about is hp though some of these units might be uh readily strong against crack this time around which is fine um might not want to go against that team. I don't know yet. Mr. Peace. Hope he's made his peace because we'd we'd sorely hand him a defeat there. Interesting weaknesses. Mm. Hmm. Not a not any frizz weakness. None of it's frizz, unfortunately. Um
Here was an interesting team, if I recall correctly. They also have Elena, which is the big problem. But the units here are a lot weaker. And um, I'm not really under any sort of threat, am I, when it comes to these guys? Other than maybe Kiefer and Elena. Hmm. Could I kill a Kiefer, though? I don't know. I don't know that I can. But we won't know until we try. So let's go for it. Might be a mistake. I say that every time. It's it's insurance, just in case if I lose. I'll be like, see, I told you guys, it was a mistake. It was a mistake, guys. I knew it all along. I'm a genius. So, <laughs> so that's that's what that is, in case you're wondering. Why... Why does Pac always say that? It's strange. I, I, I still wanted to go for the stronger team, to be honest. It would have been fun. Placement might have been a bit better. Um, and there's the insurance that I was talking about. Okay, flash forward. Sorry. Might seem like strange movements here. But I promise you, it'll all make sense. It'll all make sense. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Here's hoping. Hoping great dragon doesn't get too hurt by the dragwar there. Shouldn't. He's a low level dragwar. But this is this is the idea. We want Elena to die. We want Elena to die. And that's pretty much it. Um Oh shoot. Halberd's not faster than Elena here. Okay, so what's my agility? 256. I really need to boost up my agility. 259? I was in for such a good play, too. In for such a good play. I'm just going to have to risk it, I suppose. This is not too much of a risk considering I'm strong against. See, if I had enough agility, this is what would have happened. Had I had enough agil uh, agility, I would have... There you go, I would have killed Elena. <laughs> Pretty simple. Now, now you guys get to see what I saw, basically. All that resistance and boom, still that much damage. I don't know which one to go for, honestly. I feel like that could be a problem for me just a little bit. So here's the obvious problem here is I can't kill that unit. I could kill this unit, though. I could kill this unit, in which case um, overkilling machine can then kill the rest of them. So that's fine. I, I could live with that. All right, now overkilling machine takes out Elena. Not a threat no more. That's important. And then we could just go ham on this guy who's immune. <laughs> He's immune to crack. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he be? A very strange week. Very strange week. Still worth it, but strange nonetheless. Um, Blade Breaker seems to do the most damage. I don't care. Kind of want the placement anyway. Um, for strike. Curious to see what the damage is like there. I missed it. It went by so fast. Okay, I win. <laughs> A 
Samo. Though uh, Metal Dragon does trigger me a little bit. Luckily, he's weak to Frizz, which we're going to have handily this week, but still triggered by it, so I don't know. Does seem like a way to go. Certainly seems like a possibility, doesn't it? I think I could handle it. I think I could, and I'm not sure, but I think I could. Let's see my own um, weaknesses here. Doesn't show. <laughs> of course it wouldn't. Um, let's let's sort it by that then. Um, attack, rolls, element. These are my elements. What about my weaknesses? Nope. Nope. You just got to go through it manually. That's unfortunate and annoying for one. So no Zam. Heavy resist Zam. I'm just looking for Zam. Because you, you have no idea how many times I've got screwed by just a random five line Zam from S Dark. Because he's like, I don't know, plus three attack stacks. Of course he would be. Of course he would be because you can't kill him initially. Then he comes back and counters on you. and No bueno. Uh, Metal Dragon looks like he would die though. Metal Dragon looks like he could be a dead Metal Dragon pretty quickly. Um, the rest of the guys, Crack seems like it would still do a handful of damage against uh, True Form and Halberd. Hmm. Don't know. Obviously, the Sizz Breath is going to do decent damage to Estark. He would heal. And then it would be up to everybody else to kill. Pretty much. Their Halberd is higher level than my Halberd. Hopefully, no, same level. Hopefully, um, my dragon agility boost is higher on the family perks. I don't know. They're probably equivalent to each other. Uh, there's a good chance of that because I'm not that high on dragon family master perks anyway. So I don't know. It could behoove me to give a little bit of agility to Halberd, basically. While also not losing too much here. Perks. Sizz physical. Okay, so that's just physical sizz. That's not real. Actual sizz. Um, hmm. Still gives 10 agility. Would make me faster. That would be the goal. That would be the goal. Um, HP is a bit lacking. I want more sizz damage if I could get it, but... Honestly, it's a dangerous game. That's a, this is a really dangerous game, so I don't know. I don't know if that's something I want to be doing. Um, all my HP items are taken up. Look at that. Maybe I do just stick with the axe. I mean, this is going to drop my agility, so I can't use it. <laughs> Maybe I do stick with the axe. That's funny. The game's just like, this has been decided for you. You have no say in this matter. Um... Yeah, that's a, that's a really good possibilities here with this. Um, I don't have a whole lot of Frizz other than Dragonlord True Form, which, of course, I'm, I'm not worried about because a lot of my units are already Frizz Resist, so it doesn't matter. They're, uh... Oh, that dragon is gonna... Metal Dragon's scary. I'd have to kill it as soon as possible. I'd have to kill someone. I don't know. This might be a really tight formation, in which case I would... I would just suffer really handily. Um, Levi, it's I could probably kill their sorrow as easily as I could kill a metal dragon, but they do have overkilling machine, who's a bit scarier than. Hmm, this is a bit more spread out. So is this. This is also a nice spread. I think this is probably the best spread. Uh, ability type coverage isn't the best. But do I care? I don't know that I do. I genuinely don't know that I do. So this guy's immune to crack. Unfortunate. Heavily resists is unfortunate. Uh, we'd have to focus our... 
I guess we'd have to focus our um, Squall Slash from uh, Kiefer on either of these two units, uh, which is also unfortunate. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to have very good kill potential on those guys, but um, let's go in with that, because why not? And then I could probably give my HP back to this guy, because I'm not going to face off against those monsters. Um, what was on him? Wasn't it just a shield? Was it that? I can't remember. Honestly, don't know what Pudding does. Peronel. I think it's Kazap. But, uh, yeah. I think it will live. Maybe. Famous last words. Hmm. Okay. Suavemente. Besamente. Suavemente. Besamente. Quiero cedero. Suavemente. Besamente. What's going to hit harder is interesting. Is it going to be Squall Slash or is it going to be... Probably Squall Slash would hit harder, realistically speaking. Um, so I probably should position um, in a way... No, I can't get Squall Slash and... There's no way. I could do the breath, though. It's always a good possibility of that. Um, what about you, Hyberb? Hyberb is... Um, he could frizz breath on the um, halberd over there. Would the crack breath take this guy out? Is that no? It wouldn't. Just because of the resistances this time around, it wouldn't. And I've decided to build this way, haven't I? I could just sizz Hellion to ensure that I kill him with the um, breath here. But then I put um, hybrid in range of crack breath, I mean crack, which I should be a bit more resistant to than usual. And he's only 109. Hmm. I can't imagine he's going to do that much damage with this Glacial Doom compared to my Zoma. It'd probably be like 600 something and I'd still have like 400 HP over, left over. Um, would Perona kill me is the interesting thing. She has Zap. I'm not resistant to it, but I'm not she still has a handful of wisdom there. She might use it. Or bang. Oh, she has bang? Yeah, I would die. I would I would die readily. Oh, I'm not in range of her bang. Okay, so I'd live, but the zap I'd be in range for. Um tough call. Safest thing to do would be staying back and I don't know. <sighs> Question is, am I more scared of Halberd or am I more scared of probably Halberd? Halberd's probably scarier. The Frizz from, I'm resistant to it on basically all these units, so what's the point? Um, I'm weak to Zap here, though. I forgot about that. That's, um... Not a good thing to be weak to. Resistant to the frizz. <sighs> not, not good. Also weak to the zap. With less H, more defense. More defense on this guy. Okay, see. So this guy has 44, 1044, 1026. So Great Dragon does have more HP. Um, I don't know what kind of damage Peronal's going to do. She doesn't seem like it's ranked up all the way. I should live. I should live. I don't know, though. If everything's stacked, what's going to happen? The question is, does Zoma die? 
going to have a lot of crack resistance, so the crack isn't going to do a lot of damage. Uh, everything's going to hit neutral, on top of which he has dark robes. Um, so he's probably, there's a good chance he survives. Is there anyone that outspeeds a unit here? So, um, looks like, um, Hellion outspeeds my, uh, Halberd, which could be interesting. Don't know. Don't know, guys. I, I'm stumped on this one. Are you also weak to zap? Yeah, you are. Someone's going to die. It's not going to be fun, but someone's going to die. Feels like it. Okay, so Kiefer should be able to take care of him. In which case I could do that. Maybe then that. Uh. Okay, so we do live. See, if these guys were any stronger than they were... This would have been, this would have been a problem. Would have been a problem. Um. So Hellion, I mean, what's this guy? I could use Cracker Whack, right? I could use Cracker Whack and um, take out basically, because that's all I could do really. I could take out these guys here. But then who's hitting the guy? Peronal. I don't want to take Peronal's position. I mean, um, Cracker Whack position. Um, so I'm going to have to do that. Okay. We didn't take Cracker Whack position. So that's good. Mm -hmm. So it moved us back for whatever reason. But that's fine. And we're safe. Thank God these guys weren't whales. I would have lost a unit. And that's all it takes, really. It's just one bad bucket. And there would have been nothing I could have done with that exact same positioning. There would have been nothing... Nothing I could have done if those guys were whales. But that exact same team. If they were all maxed, I'd be screwed. <sighs> Master Q. Hmm, I guess I could handle that. Potentially. Also potentially. Ooh. Nice. Okay, that's probably that was probably the team we'd go for. Okay. Let's take a double look at this. <laughs> yep, let's go for it. This should help us hold on to our first place. So, cuz we haven't lost points yesterday and hopefully no points today either. So, Pesamente, suavamente.
Okay, so you stay there. I guess you could hit S Stark somewhat. S Stark's fast. So S Stark would probably hit all of them in a line. Hmm, it's reasonable to assume that that's what happens. Pretty, um, pretty straightforward, actually, I think. I could make... No, I couldn't. I was like, I was about to say, I could make him go sleep, sleep. But then I was like, no, I can't. He's just out of my range, you know? This is the one time it's like, you know, you see... You see him and you're like, yeah, I'm going to try to make him go to sleep, sleep, because I don't want to have to deal with that if I don't have to. But yeah, it, it, I, I'll live. I'll live. I'll live. No, 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 no. It always likes doing that. It's so sensitive. It just always likes moving incorrectly. Oh, <laughs> so close. That's funny. Now he's two stacks of attack. That's um that's pretty dangerous. Pretty uh pretty dangerous. You don't have um, Zam resistance, so it's probably best I give that to you. Hmm. Even with two stacks. It is a pretty low level uh, S Stark, so I guess that's, um, that's what happens. Let's check him out really quick. 489 attack with all that. <laughs> nice. Um... I'm looking to kill pretty much these backline units. Um, I'm not sure how much health this guy has. Green Dragon. Oh, shit ton. A shit ton is the answer. Final answer. Uh, Frizz. No resist. No resisto. De Frizz. Okay, okay. Should be simple enough. Should be simple enough. Not sure how much damage I'd need to do, so I'm just going to do that. Probably unnecessary. Yeah, it was definitely unnecessary. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass, but... Let's see. And we got a perfect date. Perfect day. This is my week, y'all. This is my week. Though, like I said before, uh, pretty risky. Pretty risky. I can do more damage, but I will have more damage dealt. That's why I'm going heavily with the resistances here. Um, did wish I had a second awakening on Great Dragon. That would have been swell for the frizz resist, heavy resist. Didn't get it, though. So we got a prison peacock instead, who's base, who is maxed, not Basic, he is maxed awakened. So, yep. Yep. Do I dare? Do I? He beat me last week. So I gotta beat him. I gotta show his him. I gotta show him his place. He has to know the pecking order. He has to know. He has to know. I can't let this slide. He has to know his place, peasant. Come on. I'm going to show you your place. Insane evil. Terrible guides and terrible thumbnails. Come on, man. You got to try better with those thumbnails. <laughs> like me. We're taking the one in Thin Eval. This is a very good 
Very, very good. Why I telling it to you, insane evil? I'm going to beat you. This is going to be Armenian man beat. Uh, what is? I don't know where you're from. South America is uh, Chile. That might be school actually. I don't know. Okay, so ice. Ah, oh, you split the ice. Why would you do this to me? So who's supposed to take this guy on now that you split the ice? I mean, I could use um, over killing machine for that, but probably should. That way I could get the squall slash on you, great dragon. Mm. Uh, <laughs> very strange, very strange. Um, really, really weird. Really weird. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ha 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 ha. Would we be able to kill that halberd? No, we wouldn't. I mean, I would want to. Because I could do like, what, 400 something damage with hybrid. I could do like another 600 with this guy. Probably. It wouldn't kill him, though, would it? Let's try. I mean, it's worth a shot. If nothing else, it's worth a shot. Because I feel like Overkilling Machine can handle that side of the board. I feel like it. I feel like it. So let's try. Let us, let us try. Let us try. Scorch. Mm, not looking hopeful. Well, that part's good. 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 Oh, no. Yeah, we're just a bit shy of getting the um, right damage here. Oh. Oh, so close. So close. I could go for that side of the board, but now I feel like I have a vendetta. Now I won't be able to squall slash, but... I had to. I had to do it. I had to revenge. I had to avenge him. Let's see, what's the uh, range here for him? Yeah, I'll just stay back, I guess. Um, I could do that, though. I could do that, which is useless, because I'm up against breath here. And he still kills him. I forgot about that. Well, I lost two units, but I beat it in uh, two turns, so that's worth it in my book. Or did I beat it in two turns? I, I don't know at this point, I guess. Thwavamente. Look, all because of Thunderstorm. And this, if it misses, it misses. But okay. We two turned. We two turned insane. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. And we paid our penance. We lost two units, but uh, we showed him his place. We showed Insane Evil his fucking place. You know your place, you... <laughs> All right. Um, there we go. Well, if you like this video, go ahead and like this video. And if you want to join the pack with the pack, Go ahead and subscribe down below. If you have something to say, write down in the comments down below. If you want others to see my video and you love Arena, you want everyone to love Arena, go ahead and share my video. Go ahead and share uh, Tropicals videos. Go ahead and share Celery, any one of the Arena dudes, uh, the, the podcast, because we do weekly podcast uh, Arena Watch to give people info on what Arena is going to be like so that way you could perhaps score better. <laughs> um Readily, a lot of people that have been watching my content even do better than me now. So it's like, it's not just watching me because uh, I'm an expert or something. It's just paying attention. Uh, we have a lot of info. You could play off of me and do better than me. That's self-evident. Celery watched me and he was doing worse than me. But the second he started watching me, he started doing better. 
and he doesn't pay for a passport. So some of his units aren't max leveled sometimes, or the rank ups or of their abilities aren't. Uh, generally, we have the same amount of units that we could potentially pull for because we I don't have more tickets or gems than he does, right? Uh, but we, um, yeah, so go ahead and share my videos. Uh, and if you want to see more of my videos, uh, well, you got to hit that bell icon so it can notify you because that's how it is on YouTube, on the YouTube space. It's not like Twitch. Twitch is just nice about it. They will just send you notifications and spam you with them. And apparently everyone likes it. Everybody likes it. They're like, why'd you move off of Twitch? And I was like, I, I had to, I, I, I didn't have the time. I didn't have, it's hard. It's hard to do that and upload or have the upload have directly because maybe there's something I need to add out. It's complicated. It's complicated stuff, my guy. Um, and I like the um, aspect ratio here. The Twitch ruins it. So you just got to hit that bell icon and go ahead. And if you want to connect with us, join Kage's gaming discord server for all the best underground DQT conversations. I'll be there. Trap will be there. Celery, Starscream, all the arena personalities as well as other personalities in the community and you could go ahead and join my server for all the best dqt guys anyways guys this has been packed demon signing out peace